we know that it's very important for job seekers to identify their values, who they are, and if there's an alignment between them and the company they're applying. So in that sense, what tips do you have for job seekers? How can they identify their values and how to use the story of discover and define their personal philosophy? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, what, what what I like to do is, and you know, I do this. Um, I do this by usually a visual, right? Uh, yeah. Is um, I, I like to think of encouraging um, individuals to find different levels and types of stories. Okay, mm -hmm. so you know, every story isn't just a story. It's uh, you know, and your overall story has some components. Yes. So what I ask folks to do is learn a little bit about the organization. Now, books on archetypes are really good. Um, you know, anything by Carol Pearson, very good uh, book on archetypes. So let me crack it down for you. An archetype is basically like a like a genre, a vibe. It's like a characterization of something. It, it technically is from Jungian psychology, but basically what it is is that you know, I Oprah is a good example of an everybody ar ar archetype. Whereas um, Mother Teresa may be a caregiver archetype, whereas Martin Luther King Jr. could be a revolutionary type of archetype, right, in a way. So these are archetypes. You have some archetypes that are warriors. You have some in movies like Yoda, who is a sage, <laughs> right, who just knows things. Yes. So what I think is important is first know your audience as a company and understand its ethos, its life force. And, and figure out what archetype is it. You know, like Prius is a caregiver brand, right? Or is yeah. a care, caregiver type of extension from the brand Toyota. Whereas Amex is typically a, a brand that, you know, stratifies based on the color of car card. So it's, it, it becomes more of a war, like a, a ruler is actually the technical I would use for that. So know the kind of organization you're going into. If you're, at, if you're going into an innovative FinTech firm, that relies heavily on numbers and math and analytics, you know, think about that, but how do they do it? You know, are they more of a magician, sage, they just know things kind of, then you should tap into part of your story that shows resonance or connection to being a bit more magical, a bit more, you know, sort of um, uh, creative, right? With, with the ways in which you apply yourself uh, in, the, in the world to be transformative. So it's really important to understand archetypes and genre or vibe of the yeah. company. And you gotta be analytical about it because mm -hmm. it's really your audience that you're analyzing because that tribe is just like sitting there saying like, look, let's use an example. Yes. Spart Spartan mm -hmm. is a very much a strong brand. Joe DeSena, CEO of Spartan has a company that, that now, you know, of course he, bought out Tough Mudder over the last year or so, yeah. um, which was their competitor. But there is a vibe from Spartan and it's that you're strong, you're gritty, you know, you don't give up, right? You get off the couch. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're going to go show up at Spartan and they need an analytics person, should you show up the same way with your story in hand as you would if you were interviewing at State Street or Western Alliance Bank or ABC biotech company probably not you want to yeah. not not be yourself double negative you want to actually figure out stylistically how to fashion your story into that audience so mm -hmm. if that right so if they're more of a heroic archetype so i tell people like look first thing you have to do is you have to gather some moments in your life gather three hero moments where you overcame an obstacle right could yeah. be learn, learn english as a second language could be maybe you survived a relocation due to a family trauma, could be that maybe you had an accident, a physical uh, sort of accident, and you know I had a, a, an alleged broken neck, it turned out to be a cervical sprain, but you know these things we probably learned from them. Now the next type of story is collaborative. So on a triangle in the book, I show hero or the base, everybody has heroic experiences where you're saving yourself. Yeah. Then it goes to collaborative, and collaborative is when you create something with someone else, okay? Yeah. But you had to create something. It wasn't forced on a team. Mm -hmm. So it's you and I creating this kind of conversation. Yes. If it were super formative to me, right, I, and, and, and important to me, and it was like light, light bulby moment where I was like, wow, I need to do this more. Yeah. Then it might be a collaborative experience. So get three of those and then get three virtuous. That's the top of the triangle. Oh, I call okay. that the heart, the heart. Where, where you lose track of time 
and, and you just, it would be immoral for you not to do this thing. Virtuous just means you love the thing. It would be immoral for you to stop doing it. For me, it's teaching in innovative ways. Wow. So the first time I tried to teach somebody something right about storytelling and understanding how the spoken word could be translated differently to help somebody get a job, lead a team, right? Yeah. Uh, win people over in a speech. I mean, I was lit up. So I knew that that was something that I had to keep doing. So for the listeners, know those three, know the three hero, three collaborative, three virtuous. When you can connect one on each level and sort of, that's the connecting the dots. Yes. Then you can show some, some nice arc to your story and you can, you, can, you can nail it in under two minutes and you can do it in a back and forth way. Even though I know right now I was just providing a whole lot of a, an answer. Information, yes. Right. I will put uh, the, the link of your book below so that people might purchase it and use it because it's very deep and they need to practice and they need to, uh, as you said, when you go to an interview, you have to be prepared and tell your story to someone that you don't know and maybe they will give you more guidance. Thank you.